traveling through Morocco, you must stop at Volubilis. This is one of the stops on our 14-day G Adventures tour of Morocco. The time uh, frame we're talking about here in North Africa, including Bulubilis, where we are. Bulubilis is 300 kilometers south from the Mediterranean Sea, only 170 kilometers towards the Atlantic. But the time frame is one century BC, but they stayed here until 488. According to inscriptions, what we see now on this site is almost 2,000 years old. On our way to Meknes, which is about 33 kilometers. We stopped here at Volubilis, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Roman ruin sits in the middle of this rolling field of farmland. It's interesting that Anthony and Cleopatra's daughter and son-in-law were sent here by the Romans who was a Berber king, started a thriving farming community here, and they produced wine, olives, and wheat for the Roman Empire. People lived here until the 18th century and the marble was stolen by people living in Meknes and they used it for the palaces there. And then it was destroyed in the 1700s by the Lisbon earthquake. The road here is actually still intact and you can see how it follows the route, the trading route, that goes underneath this arch all the way from the Mediterranean Sea to the Atlantic. And it was considered the main trading route of the area. During the second and third centuries, the peak of the population was about 20 to 30,000 people. And that's when they actually built the basilica, the baths, and the famous arch. This is the bath or the spa area. <laughs> When the Romans finally did abandon Volubilis, the, the population of the city was comprised of Syrians, Greeks, Berbers, and Jews, and they continued to speak Latin until Islam arrived. Walking around, it really seems quite large, but actually they say only about a third of it has been uncovered. Most of the houses were quite big, also because the Romans were living in extended families. So maybe two or three generations would have lived inside the same house. And should we think one story or two? two. Sometimes, yes. And, and man, another house where we are here shows evidence of an open atrium, atrium. Normally that part in the middle of the house was open to the sky for ventilation, like a Moroccan Riyadh with a water fountain, with an article garden, 
And we have mosaic floors in the living room, the dining room. But again, we presume those are your bedrooms because they are small in size. And rich people could even afford to have a cold pond. That's why they kept fish, just for decoration. Can you please uh, see the swastika over there? Oh, yeah. yeah. It is very old. Uh -huh. And its origin is a Hindu. Oh, yeah. wow. Often uh, the swastika in that position is used as a as a religious peace sign in Buddhism. Yeah. yeah. If it's an intake note, you can call the infinity note, and it's even called the love note. Yeah. It has no beginning and no end. And according to the myth, no one could untie that knot. Which is why in people's weddings, people still use the expression that says tie the knot. And the idea of the ring itself, that where it comes from because it's endless. This is uh, another house. This time uh, we have the female goddess called Diana. Look at her on the left hand side and she's bathing with one of the nymphs. Women often uh, bathing with Diana are called water nymphs. They were also known for seduction and beauty. But if you look at Diana, uh, uh, she's also trying to cover herself. According to the story, when she's uh, bathing with one of the nymphs, according to the story, the man you see in the corner here is uh, peeping. The road from the Mediterranean Sea to the Atlantic. Yes. <laughs> it's called La Via Pia or La Via Antica. Trading road. This was a walled city with the seven gates. That's one of the seven gates on the other side. It's a number that refers to the seven divinities the Romans were worshipping to protect Rome. The location of Alubulus is stunning. It's still surrounded by wheat fields and olive trees. The farming continues to thrive since the Romans. <laughs> <laughs>